Okay, so I am alone for this call, but uh, we just finished up a water heater filter and pressure reducing valve install for a water main. Now I am headed to an existing customer with a large home and several radiant zones that aren't working. And I'm gonna to try to see uh, what's going on there and hopefully I can fix it. Okay, so the customer gave me a list. Basement zone, no heat for more than a week. Here's our basement zone, here's our zone valve. It's bad, it's not, motor's not moving the valve. It's like not on there properly. So that's gonna be a new zone valve head. Right radiant unit slash panel, master boys room, etc. not working. Master bathroom. So the right panel is not working. And we go up in the red, so the second one down. And we have a circulator there. And these all... So what do they do here? A little bit of confusion on this uh, heat exchanger here, but... Why do we not have... These circulators are running, I'm wondering. But that circulator up there is running, and that's what would go to the right, right panel. Come up and go over. And our temperature right now, we're at 100 degrees. But this circulator and this circulator both sound terrible. So... I'm gonna pull the covers off, do an amp draw on the circulators. Uh, switch number two was off, he turned it on. I believe they should both be on because that's just power for our circulators here. Um, and then he said, switch turn to on position, improved rating a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards, because the radiant was working, top temperature was 90 degrees, maybe we're not circulating enough hot water through this, and it's just getting cold from the cold that it's pulling back, um, which I would point to these circulators for, so here's what I'm gonna do. We got screwdriver and my multimeter. Is the screws off? The screws are already off. Okay. And we don't have very much room in there to get our multimeter on. So checking amp draw is not gonna be easy. Let's see if I can get this done. Okay, so if I turn off power and turn it back on. You hear that? That's not a good sound. This circulator's gotta go. This circulator, however, isn't making that noise, it's just this one right here. So this is gonna be an issue, whether it is his exact issue, I'm not 100% sure on if that's what's causing it. But we know we have that bad zone valve. I'm just wondering, we pull off of this right here, but how does this get heat to begin with? Boiler goes up and over to packs. It's just an interesting setup that we got going on here that I need to figure out. We've got supply and return. We go down with our supply. Right here, we come up and we disappear. Where do we disappear to? I'm not sure. But we have those two lines, which come from up here. One goes across, one comes down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is our supply and our return for our tag. Okay, and we're reading 150 here, we're reading 100 here. Hmm, I would think we should be reading better temperature there. 
We're at 170. Running for domestic hot water at the moment. Let's see what difference we get when I change out this circulator. And also that zone valve we gotta change. Uh, so I just had a little bit of a tough time with the customer because I told her that those that uh, circulator pump is bad. And she was like, but someone was just here and replaced the radiant pump. Um, they replaced a different pump that I don't know that it even has anything to do with the radiant. But I told her what I need to do. I told her I would like to replace both pumps and it looks like one pump is a backup. But uh, So I'm replacing both those pumps. They're both making noises that they shouldn't make. Um, and then of course that zone valve. Ooh. And thankfully we have a very nice setup here where I can easily access everything and isolate things, which I love. So yeah, we'll take care of this. Okay, so I've been here for quite some time and here's the overall breakdown of what's happened so far. This circulator I was able to replace. Uh, however, there is no means throughout the whole system here, the pipes above, or the pipes that come then back to the boiler to purge. I was able, however, to purge through here uh, with the circulator on, you can pull water, and then I can purge it through and uh, bleed it. So that worked out nicely. We're circulating. We did hit up to uh, 160, 180, which before this was hovering just below 140, um, which now means that our radiant manifold is getting a nice hot temperature where prior it was only getting about like 90 degrees. Our basement zone valve replaced that. We're good to go. It's open. Um, our zone panel has got power for the circulator. Uh, both circulators here and the circulator there, as well as our multiple zone valves that are controlled by here. There was a backflow preventer here that was not allowing water to pass, which was not allowing the system to be pressurized when I was trying to purge the uh, radiant zones. However, this uh, portion that goes to the radiant feeds off of the portion that's piped into the boiler. So we don't need a backflow preventer there because there's no risk of contamination. So I put the, I just put what I had here, uh, two black couplings and a brass nipple. Uh, I would have liked to do brass couplings, but I don't have that. So that will work fine. And, um, now we're feeding to pressure, so I was able to purge just to make sure we didn't have any air in any of these lines, uh, which we are circulating through now, so we should be good to go. The only thing is, is I want to get all the radiant zones turned on to make sure that we get uh, heat coming up. Okay, so I finished up there. He's up and running. He has radiant heating. Everything seems to be working okay. However, there's three other circulator pumps that are either failed or on their way out. So we're gonna come back and replace those three circulators. Um, I couldn't use what I have because of the orientation of the pumps and the way the flanges are in there currently. I don't wanna put in a pump the wrong way because then that just means we're gonna be back sooner to fix it. And I told him that and he appreciated that. Um, so we'll come back with three pumps. We're gonna install a purge valve so that we can purge. Um, and that'll be set up so that we can use it for both uh, circulators for that uh, heat exchanger. And um, let's see what else. Yeah, I guess that's really it. He, he just said that he wants to make sure that it's me that comes next time, which is it's nice to hear. I've been getting a lot of compliments from customers lately, and it's so much better than the, why is this price so much? I'm not paying that. or. I'll just call somebody else or whatever. People who don't appreciate anything. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I was there for a while. I was there for two, I was there for like three hours, more more like two and a half, because we were just talking for about things for a while. I, I really wanted to make sure he understood everything, how it worked. And um, he's got a nice fish tank too, a saltwater fish tank that takes up an entire wall. It's uh, so big that the house had to be built with support, special supporting just for the fish tank. Um, but yeah, 
that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, comment any advice or criticisms or feedback. Like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.